Enzo Fernandez's reported after-tax salary of £5 million per season breaks down to an impressive £416,000 per month, a spicy £104,000 per week, a sizzling £15,000 per day, a scorching £620 per hour, a fiery £10 per minute, or a blazing 17 pence per second. So welcome back to our channel Football Amsid. In today's video we will discuss about lifestyle, career and net worth of famous football player Enzo Fernandez. Early life. Enzo Fernandez was born on the 17th of January 2001 in San Martin, Argentina. His full real name is Enzo Jeremias Fernandez and he is commonly known as Enzo Fernandez. His nationality is Argentine and his ethnicity is Latino. His zodiac sign is Capricorn and he follows Roman Catholic. His father Raul Fernandez is big football fan and his mother is a homemaker. Girlfriend and kids. Enzo Fernandez has been in a relationship with Valentina Cervantes for about four years. They moved to Lisbon together when Fernandez joined Benfica last year. Cervantes has been a supportive presence in Fernandez's career, accompanying him during his loan spell at Defensa y Justicia. She frequently shares pictures of them together at his football matches on her Instagram account, which has 439,000 followers. Fernandez married Valentina Cervantes, with whom he has a daughter, born in 2020. On May 5, 2023 they announced that they expecting their second kid together. Net worth. Enzo Fernandez's annual salary after taxes is approximately £5 million, according to Duncan Castles and Tom Roddy of The Times. This significant income, along with Chelsea's ambitions as a club, were said to be the main reasons for Fernandez's desire to join them immediately. Breaking it down, his reported after-tax salary of £5 million per season equates to roughly £416,000 per month, £104,000 per week, £15,000 per day, £620 per hour, £10 per minute, or 17 pence per second. House and Cars Following his move to Chelsea, Enzo Fernandez now resides in the UK. It is unknown where he lives. He does not post photos of his house. Enzo Fernandez does not flaunt the things he has on social media. He has only been pictured entering his car. Early career. Enzo Fernandez began his football career at a young age, playing for a local team called Club Larikova before joining River Plate. The exact year of his arrival at River Plate is uncertain, with different sources providing conflicting information. He made his debut for the club's first team in March 2020 and also had a successful run in the 2020 U20 Copa Libertadores, scoring a goal. In the 2020-21 season, Fernandez was loaned to Defensa y Justicia, where he played a key role in the team's victory in the 2020 Copa Sudamericana, earning his first career title. He returned to River Plate for the 2021-22 season and quickly established himself as a starter, scoring goals and providing assists. His impressive performances garnered attention from European clubs, and he was regarded as one of the best active footballers in Argentina. On June 23, 2022, River Plate agreed to transfer Enzo Fernandez to Benfica for a fee of €10 million, Euros, with potential add-ons of €8 million. Euros. However, Fernandez would remain with River Plate until the conclusion of the Copa Libertadores campaign. After River Plate's elimination from the Copa Libertadores round of 16, the deal was officially confirmed by Benfica on July 14. Fernandez was assigned the number 13 shirt, previously worn by Eusebio, a club legend. During the January 2023 transfer window, Fernandez was linked with a potential move to Chelsea. However, Benfica was firm on not selling him for less than his €121 million Euros release clause. Chelsea completed the signing of Enzo Fernandez for a total package worth £106.8 million pounds on January 31, 2023. The negotiations between Chelsea and Benfica, led by Chelsea co-owner Bedad Bali, lasted for over 10 hours. The transfer fee paid by Chelsea is now a British record deal with an initial payment of £30 million and five additional installments to follow. Fernandez made his debut in the Premier League on February 3 against Fulham, playing the full 90 minutes. He registered an assist in his second league appearance, helping Chelsea secure a 1-1 draw against West Ham United on February 11. And that's it for today's video, folks. I hope you enjoyed learning more about Enzo Fernandez and his journey to becoming a top footballer. 
If you have any questions, comments or suggestions, please leave them down in the comment section below. I love hearing from you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with all of my latest videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.